Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw the examples based on the trigonometric ratios. In this video, we will highlight some misconceptions related to these. If tan theta is equal to 24 by 10, then which of the following will be the value of sin theta? Pause the video and try yourself and then match your answer. In the question, we are given tan theta equals to 24 by 10 and the value of sin theta is asked. Can you tell what we need to do first? Perfect! We know that trigonometric ratios represent the ratios of two sides of a right angle triangle. So first, we draw a right angle triangle called PQR, in which angle Q is right angle and angle R is theta. We know that the trigonometric ratio tan of the angle theta is equal to the ratio of opposite side to the adjacent side of the angle. In this triangle PQR, PQ is the opposite side and RQ is the adjacent side of the angle, which we can also write in this way, where X is a positive number. Can we now find the value of sin theta? Absolutely not. To find the value of sin theta, we will also need to measure the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle, that is, the side RP. We can calculate the value of side RP with the help of Pythagoras theorem, which is 26x units. We know that the value of sine of the angle is equal to the ratio of opposite side of the angle to the hypotenuse of the triangle which gives us PQ upon RP. Putting the value of PQ and RP, we get sine theta equals to 24 upon 26. So, we can say that option 3 is the correct answer. If you choose option 1, then it is a good try, but this is the wrong answer. From the beginning of the solution till you calculated the hypotenuse, you did the process correctly. But to calculate sine theta, you used adjacent side instead of the opposite side, which caused your answer to be incorrect. If you chose option 2, then it is a good try, but this is also the wrong answer. This happened because in the value given in the question, you have written tan theta as sin theta upon cos theta and compared the two sides and you got the value of the sin theta as 24, which is wrong. Hopefully, you will have a good understanding of trigonometric ratios and their use. At the same time, it must also have been understood what things are to be kept in mind while solving questions based on this.